Until the 1500s, prisons weren't punishment in their own right, but used for debtors or as a holding place for criminals before trial or sentencing. Conditions depended on how much you could pay your jailer for food and bedding. Bridewell Prison was opened in 1553 as part hospital, part orphanage and part shelter for vagabonds, but also a deterrent with harsh conditions. Similar houses of correction were extended to all towns in 1576. County jails were run by the local sheriff, but despite efforts at regulation by JPs and even Oliver Cromwell, by the 1700s they were still fairly awful places. Men, women and children were thrown in together with serious and petty offenders, leading to bullying in overcrowded and terrible conditions and with prisoners dying of jail fever, probably typhus and spread by lice. Between 1776 and 86, prisoners were held in rotting old warships called hulks with a 25% death rate. From the late 1700s, humanitarian reformers such as Howard and Fry lobbied for rehabilitation and better conditions as more criminals were incarcerated and the bloody code and transportation fell out of favour. By 1850, 90% of criminals were sent to prison and the central government extended its control with prison inspectors and a national prisons commission. In 1842, Pentonville Prison was built along the lines of the separate system, housing 520 prisoners who spent 23 hours a day alone in their cells and exercised in masks to prevent human contact. Intended to give prisoners time for reflection, this led to high rates of insanity, delusion and suicide. In 1865, the Prisons Act promised hard labour, hard fare and hard board, forcing prisoners to spend hours a day on the treadmill, the crank and shot drill. 1902 saw new principles for prisons with the abolition of hard labour and the introduction of borstals until 1988 when they were replaced by young offenders institutions. In the first half of the century, shaved heads and arrows on uniforms were ended and education, training and paid work were introduced. However, throughout the century, the government struggled against the problems of re-offending, expense and overcrowding, with 85,000 prisoners in 2010 and the Strange Wave Prisons Riot of April 1990 highlighting ongoing problems with the prison system. 